I, I'm not used to openly see, I know people talk about me in facts but I'm not used to openly seeing people talk about me welcome back to my youtube channel today we have Blouse choice if you haven't already please subscribe today I'm literally going to be showing you how I achieve this unachievable look yeah how I achieve this unachievable look so this look is unachievable but today you'll learn how I achieved it it makes sense the black and the berry, the sweet of the... Is it the black and the berry, the sweet of the juice? The black and the berry, the sweet of the juice, period. Okay, let's dip down to the ingredient that I'm saying. <laughs> I'm showing you. You know what I'm showing? Recently, a lot of people have been putting under my comments that I should do. The only makeup routine, yeah? Cool, so obviously, I've got you guys. I'm you don't have gassed me because I'm not an MUA. I'm not an MUA. I can hardly, I can just about do my hair and just about do my makeup. So the fact that you lots want me to like show you how I do my makeup, you know, I'm just a little bit gassed in it. I've changed how I dibble, how I dabble, you know what I'm saying? It actually makes a difference. The only difference today with my makeup is that I'm not going to be listening to my tunes. My tunes is what makes me deliver. Without my tunes, I don't think, tunes is in music. Without my music, I don't think I could be the girl I am today. The music, whilst you're doing your makeup, it just corresponds together. First things first, when I do my makeup, I oil my skin. Right now, I don't know what the feck is going on with my skin. As you can see, I've got like black something there and black something there recently i've started using primers it blocks your pores whilst you do your makeup the one that i'm using today skin put all over my face i'm not gonna lie this is not gonna be no normal makeup tutorial because i'm not an mua so majority of the time i will be chatting grease it's the proof eyebrow pencil i got it from hair store one pound i don't really know why girls buy the homemade homemade Thing for the eyebrows that cost like five pounds when you can just use a one pound pencil and it does the same thing my eyebrows are very thick i don't really need to pencil my eyebrows so what i literally do is i just brush it outline the outer bit of my eyebrows brush it to blend the pencil with my natural eyebrows we might as well talk we might as well get to know each other a bit more recently i've been feeling to come off youtube i'm not gonna lie I feel like I forgot how social media is when you're actually on social media. I feel like it's way different when you're the audience. Do you get what I mean? People used to like argue and stuff on social media or people used to get attacked. I wouldn't really pay much mind to it. I doubt I've commented anything on Twitter whilst beef is going on, but I've probably liked or retweet. When you're on social media, when you're actually the person in the limelight, you see everything. Before I used to think, mm, they won't even see me. Like, trust me. Trust me. You see every comment every like every retweet i see it because i'm not that big so it's like you're gonna see everything a lot of things don't get to me but certain things do get to me i see things i'll be like yeah fuck it i don't want to do it anymore fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. i'm not a social media person i'm not used to being in the light i'm not used to openly see i know people talk about me in facts but i'm not used to openly seeing people talk about me so it's a bit different while i've been on social media it's also changed me a bit i don't retweet like comment on anything that happens on social media if I have anything to say, trust me when I say I'll be going to my girl's GC. The eyebrows is done. I have my phone concealer, which is the LA Pro concealer. Home honey goes underneath and fawn goes on top. I just feel like people forget that people have feelings and people see what people say. People that say it doesn't get to them, kudos to you, in it? Big you up on being strong, but me, I don't like stuff like that. So I just didn't do it to other people. I love making content. I don't really like what comes with making content. Do you know what I mean? One reason I started YouTube as well. I'm not really a YouTuber watcher. People I do watch, I love. Like, I don't just watch anyone. Not in like, I'm bougie. I just don't find myself watching YouTube people. So people like Annie Drea, Nella Rose, Adiola, Sophieology, Grace Adelore. Chunks, Philly, Don't Jealous Me was someone I used to watch all the time. People like Don't Jealous Me, A Dot Max Comedy, people like back in the day, people. So when all of them stopped, I stopped watching YouTube till this came, Grace, Nella, and that. That's when I started watching YouTube channels a bit more. One main reason why I started YouTube is because when I asked my parents stuff like, oh, can I see pictures of like your childhood friends? There's no pictures. <laughs> there is no pictures. So me, I'm not like, 
when I'm with my friends, come let's take a picture. Like, I won't have a lot of pictures with my friends because I'm not like, oh, let's take a picture together because realistically, I'm not a picture person. It like, I need to take 100 pictures to get one good picture. So with YouTube, videos are different. I've created YouTube to be like my memory album. Like, I want my children to go on my YouTube channel and be like, oh, that's Samuel, oh, that's Zena, oh, that's Mary, that's Shelly, that's Alameen, like, those are my friends, like, and they can see their personalities, not just see a picture. They can see how I was when I was younger. They can see my friends. They can see our banter. It's like, it's nice. See what I mean? So it's for my children. It's, it's memories for myself and for my children and for my life. When it comes to content and stuff, I find content which involves my friends that is just fun. Because I love YouTube channels that contain people and their friends. It's just nice to see. Especially when it comes to people that, like, I watch most of them yeah they have people in they have people in their videos so i'm most likely gonna like oh, i love that video i want to try it out with my friends you know what i mean not for exactly to have the same content but like to have that memory with that specific video even with my recent video a lot of people commenting oh my days you're copying Ella rose da, 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 da. you're not even paying her homage if you watch my first couple of videos i've said like ah oh, this girl inspires me the recent video i've done because obviously I definitely got the idea from her. Hence why I put it in my description box. So I think got this video from Nella or something like that. So it's just like, I don't really know what people want me to do. Like, I don't really understand what they're trying to do in the comments. Like, da 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 Like, when I've already said what it is. Like, so it's just a bit like, when people are commenting, oh, you copied. Bitch, I just said the video inspired by Nella. So what are you doing? I don't really, I don't really understand what you're doing right there do you know what i'm saying i don't really get it people people that i watch for editing the most i'll say jay edwards his editing is amazing like i can't even explain it his his editing is immaculate if someone said wow you edit like jay i'll be jumping people i watch for editing definitely definitely annie Joya and and jay because their editing is immaculate one time everyone was getting these or oh, there was a lot of advertisement for this and i was like oh my gosh this looks good the brushes these brushes yeah these ones they're absolutely shit but this one in particular is something i do use to blend my concealer for my eyebrows look so when it comes to doing my eyebrows i hate seeing lines i hate seeing halos i used to do it before oh i can't believe my friends let me walk out like that i literally get the brush and i brush can you see the difference? I hate block eyebrows. Why are your eyebrows blocked? Okay, then get my Fenty foundation. Guys, I will never disown Fenty. Fenty will never disown me, matter of fact. I will never disown it, it will never disown me. So being on social media, people expect a lot from you. Babe, I'm not gonna lie, just one year ago, I was with you, literally, I was with you watching YouTubers, like, give me some like give me a break oh my gosh like everyone's human it's that when you come on social media they, they suddenly expect you to be a robot you lots have not seen the real me i was speaking about it to my friend the other day and she was just like oh no you need to show your personality more on youtube and i'm just like babe am i not doing that she's like no you're holding back and i feel like i am maybe because one day everyone will love me and next day everyone will hate me and will comment on how i acted when i shared my real self so it was just like yeah i will say i'm holding myself back a bit but i'm doing it for my protection i think before in my old makeup tutorials i used a beauty blender and i can tell you using a foundation brush is probably the best thing that's happened to my makeup ever one reason is because the beauty blender it kind of like takes away the makeup when you're blending and I don't know, I feel like maybe a lot of um, young people watch me. When you see people do their, like, I know how I was when I was younger. I used to look at the most expensive products. Using expensive products does not mean shit if you don't know how to apply it. Like, you can get, like, Bobbi Brown and not know how to apply your makeup. And it looks like you use something from, from, bro, just something from somewhere, innit? I used to watch, like, Sophieology was someone that used to do that. Some girl called Tony Oloye. She doesn't use, she would do, like, cheap um things cheap products and i was watching it look wow how does her makeup come out like that it's literally how you apply your makeup but i didn't um put foundation on top of my baby hair i go around it when you contour i contour on top of my baby hair so it will hide the concealer oh, another thing i need to adjust a lot of people think i'm taken sorry stop 
Stop blocking the man them that wanna move me. I've been single for like four years now. Oh my gosh. I just like I delete it on my um I delete it when people comment on my video. People be like, ah, oh, who's your boyfriend? Are you not gonna show me your boyfriend? I have no man. I have no man. Alexa, put the volume to ten. <laughs> My halo is kind of gone, but what I do to make sure the halo is gone, gone, I'll get like a little brush and I'll literally take some foundation and I'll just basically kind of conceal my eyebrows with the foundation and I just brush it up. Because I'm not a professional, I kind of have to do things longer. So I blend like no other. I'll literally take, I'll do this whole foundation bit. If I see anything, oily or just anything shining too much i literally just blend i then get my concealer i get fawn which is what i use for the top of my eyebrows and i literally just conceal basically you want to just do it around your eyes the trick that i've learned as well is i do it closer to my nose i feel like a professional <laughs> I don't put too much under my chin, but I do spread it out a lot. I literally use the same brush for majority of the things. So I use the brush that I use for my foundation to do my concealer. I don't want it there. What is it doing there? I literally stop it there. I probably want to say thank you to everyone who has bought my choice lashes. I'm nearly finished selling out. I never in a million years thought I would have my own business, let alone almost be selling out. I do believe in myself, but sometimes it's just like, rah, you did that, like, rah. So as you can see, the concealer, I put around my eyes as well. When I do my makeup, I really like things being one colour. I don't want this bit to be darker, the bit to be lighter. Everything should be light, except from where you are contouring. I normally conceal my face quite a bit, only because the fawn is quite close to my skin tone, so it's not really highlighting norm. And I've literally invested in Born This Way. Who made me invest in this? It was my friend Zalika Touch of Zay. She does makeup. And Sophieology, who made me put money into this Born This Way. So I got two colours. I got Warm Sand and I got Butterscotch. So the Born This Way concealer is very heavy. So literally, you don't even need to use a lot. The lighter concealer for me always goes last. Okay, see that? It's, it... <laughs> Born this way, <laughs> the button again, yeah. The way it blends into your skin, baby. It's really nice, can you see that? It's like it glows. Yeah, that's it, it's like a glowing concealer. So that is the butterscotch on my face concealer. And then the last concealer would be the warm sand, which is the lightest shade concealer I have. And I'll literally put a little bit. I'll put one here and that'll be it the butterscotch is what i use to put in the middle of my nose i don't put a lot because you need to be careful when you're using this more this brush is really good actually what i use to contour is this anastate <laughs> listen i know this looks like a part of the design matter of fact this is me shade the only really shade i use um to do my contour with me i didn't use to contour like that before i contoured but it was like i was scared of contouring i don't know why it was like as if i was scared of the brush where i put my contour around my face um, around my chin and then my nose i do my setting powder after i do my contour book i want it to kind of like set on my face guys look at this brush i'm telling you it actually doesn't matter what you use i'm <laughs> this brush is this is my function so i use the brush to kind of like Remember I already told you, I ain't like harsh line. I use it to kind of like blend the concealer and the contour together. I didn't really blend, so whether that doesn't really need to be blended, I'll just put it again so it can show more. I use Laura Mercier. I press my setting powder in, I don't leave it. I feel like it makes me look a bit cakey and ashy. I also got this brush from Morph as well. Is it Morphe or Morph? Whatever it is, whatever they call it. I use the powder brush. Okay, see that? Beautiful. Please make sure you're just pressing gently, that you're not sliding. Because when you slide, that is when the whole application you put underneath will also slide with you. I just slide into the left or concealer slide into the left literally just pat it sometimes i'll just like cool 
Boom! And I had to do the whole thing again because the thing slid with me. This is how my face is looking right now. So on to the next step. I already told you guys I don't really use eyeshadow. My contour palette, I mixed one, two, and three for my eyeshadow and put get my liquid eyeliner. Comment below makeup artists I need to watch because I literally don't know why I do things. I do it because the end result is lush. Now I'm going to be wearing my choice lashes. So the ones that I'll be wearing today, this one, a lot of girls are really liking this one. I think I want to try it, but not today. I'll, I'll be doing my LCX, which stands for Lyle's Choice Exclusive. And these, in all my YouTube videos that I used to do a long time ago, it was these lashes that I would wear at the bottom. Can I, what can I say? what can i say the product is the, the owner it's the ambassador the product wears i'm not gonna talk too much so i literally got this bronzer and i think it was like a month ago revolution bronzer i got it in the shade medium this bronzer has actually changed my life i think that is the reason why everyone's saying oh can you do a new thing because the way i glow in my videos is because of this bronzer and literally where i put my contours where i'm gonna put my bronzer This is why my skin pops. Look at that. It literally makes your skin warm. Like, oh, I love it. I cannot believe that I didn't used to use bronzer before. What was I playing at? And that is my nose blended and contoured and whatever you call it, that is my nose done. To my lips. Recently, I've been just feeling the lip gloss and the lip liner routine I use this this sick sick lip gloss by my friend ami it's a lux but literally this lip gloss is the only lip gloss i know that stays on my lips for a good six hours and i'm not even capping i use this lip liner from myx urban cat i don't um overline my lips because i've already got big lips so and then for my lip gloss look at that i just put it on top just like, look at the lip gloss and look at the lip liner. Look at the lip gloss and look at the lip liner. Then look at your own lip gloss and then look at the lip liner. And tell me if it's the same. <laughs> it's not the same. I used to do it before. All my friends used to catch me. Now I'm back doing it again. Is, <laughs> I use the lip liner, the eyeliner that I use to make a fake beauty spot. Less than that, at least. Less than that, at least is my setting sprays i only use two setting sprays and that is the urban decay decay urban decay urban decay and the morphe setting spray you know you have to bring yourself to the spray you have to collect everything because it's still flying but that is literally my makeup routine <laughs> The thing is, why I'm excited is because my makeup did not used to look like this. So, trust me when I say you can go, like, if your makeup doesn't look all that how you want it to look, trust me, it will get better. Because I used to think, how do they just even, like, I'll be doing how they're doing their concealer, but it'll be looking different. Like, I'm literally copying their routine. I literally get the same products and my makeup will look the same. It's literally just practice and knowing your skin like how i blend you might not need to blend like that it's knowing your skin i hope you guys enjoyed my makeup routine if you like this video please like comment and subscribe hopefully i'll be back with another routine i just need to learn something else because i can't come back and do the same thing you feel me so thank you guys for watching i love you guys <laughs> I don't dance, but I can shake a leg. I want two step Billy Jeans on your jeans. Money on my wrist, I'm going crazy. Can every princess cuss for my baby? I don't know, I can't hit a whole belly. Sipping Louis 13, I'm with a casey. I made a wish, I got it, and I made a wish list.